is Throwback Thursday with Ezra. Today is Throwback Thursday, and we are going to be throwing back this Thursday with Ezra. That's right. Ezra was my official second box opening I did on my channel, and he was my official second Timu baby. But before we get into Ezra's story, and I do plan on changing him, um, a couple of quick reminders. We will be going live on Saturday, 4.30 p.m. Central for all of my Cloud Insiders and 5 o'clock p.m. Central for everyone else. And I'm super excited, you guys, because I have a whole new layout for the live. So, you know, you guys can actually see your comments coming up across the screen even after the live is over. So that is a, something fun to play with this Saturday. And this week's Maddie Monday is all about jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins and whatever you want to do with jack-o'-lanterns or pumpkins. And then Sunday, we also have a Choose Your Adventure Part 3. And are we going to find Daisy? I don't know. I think Daisy's playing games. I'm drinking coffee right now. And so, what else do we have planned this week? Well, let me think for a minute. This Tuesday coming up, you guys, I think we're going to have a Bella's Baby Day. So, you guys get your Bella's Babies ready for that video. And I think that might be it. I'm currently working on another adventure with Bonnie Boo and Vinny Vamp. That's right. I don't know if I'll have that ready anytime real quick but that animation is coming up so it will be another story time with Sydney and so that is what we have kind of going on um if you guys didn't watch um Tuesday's video I did do a sneak peek of October's baby giveaway which will be a little bit later in the month and we will be giving her away and well I think that's all of the updates so on to Ezra. Why we are here is for this sweet little boy. And well, before we get started, let's go ahead and flash back to over a year ago. I remember doing that unboxing and well Ezra 
was um, when I first, I'm going to go ahead and start changing him while we're talking about him. Anyway, Ezra was kind of like an early journey for me in order from Timu. And so the, the thing that I did with Ezra, and I made the mistake with it, quite a few other dolls throughout the journey, is I looked at a picture which looked like a real child, and I thought that's what I was going to get. Now, over the course of my journey, um, I have discovered that you don't buy dolls like that. So now when I buy dolls, I look for a picture of the doll itself. Even if it doesn't have no clothes on and it just shows a blank, you know, doll, I still want to see what the doll itself is going to look like compared to a picture of a child. And so, when I very first unboxed this little boy, um, I wasn't necessarily disappointed, but it wasn't like what I thought was going to come in. And so, um, I did try to hide my disappointment in that video um, because I was a little disappointed. But once I was able to spend some time with him, you know, like the night with him, and I kind of started getting to know him and his personality I was creating for him, I actually have fallen in love with Ezra. Now, um, he is, like I said, was my he's always going to be a landmark baby, and he is also another forever baby with me. Um, through this journey that we're going to find out with this Choose Your Adventures, um, we you, we are going to come across babies that's not in my nursery anymore for whatever reason. And um, I'm still going to do honorary mentions of those babies. Um, you know, as they come up, as their week comes up, if they're not here, we'll do an honorary mention and then move on to maybe a baby that was next in the lineup that was here. And Throwback Thursday is not an original concept. So... Even though I'm doing it, it wasn't like my brilliant idea. I just want to make that clear. Throwback Thursdays have been around for a while. Throwback Thursday in itself. <laughs> and so you could do Throwback Thursdays with a lot of different things. Um, so, you know, in other words, it's not an original concept. But how I do my Throwback Thursdays is, at least to my channel... Have other people done this? Chances are probably. Um, will people continue to do this? Chances are probably. But this is just my way of showing you guys going through my complete collection and showing you guys how I got the dolls as I unbox them. Even my Happy Mails. When we get to those unboxings, we certainly are going to show them babies also along with their throwback of them being unboxed. So I just wanted to go through my complete collection this way. Um, no matter what, well, I think I'm only going to do it with my Reborns. I have thought about doing it with any doll that I unboxed at the time. But I decided to just kind of focus it more because I do have Raggedy Ann and Andy's. And I do have um, a Shadow High and some Rainbow Highs. And stuff like that. Um, but I decided that I'm just going to focus more on the Reborns right now. We might do those after we could complete our series of the Reborns. You know, um, maybe we could do it with other dolls. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to say about my Throwback Thursday. Um, is that's just how I'm doing mine. There's probably several Throwback Thursdays out there. So, anyway, Ezra is definitely the second one in my nursery. And so, for some reason with Ezra, I don't know if it has to do with his name, because for anybody that doesn't know, Ezra did come from the Bible, and not very many people will know that, believe it or not. But I was excited when I very first did his unboxing um, of some of the people that knew the name. Um, one person that stands out to me just immediately, because she has been with me this long, is April. April Hot, that's right. I remember April's comment... What really impressed me was she said that she knew that Ezra was from the Bible. And I was like, huh, okay. Uh, a lot of people don't know that because I didn't know that until I started looking up biblical names. And that's whenever I found Ezra. And um, I just liked the name. And so I was really impressed. And so that was one of the challenges I had gave on in his unboxing was, does anybody know where Ezra came from? And so, I don't know if it had to do with his sweet little name or what, but the personality that immediately came to mind with Ezra, like I said, when I got to spend some time with him, 
and kind of started liking him a little bit better, um, is his personality is just so sweet. He's like one of those little boys that is so sweet that he would be, you know, if Ezra was a real person and could grow up and be a daddy and all that stuff, he would be one of those wonderful dads and a wonderful husband in my mind. He's just sweet. He's understanding. He was always the one that in my mind, you know, when I work nights, um, I would come home to my babies and I would pretend and Ezra would always be the one I would grab for. Um, even over Macy. I love Macy to death, but Macy's honoring. Macy's mischievous. But Ezra was the one that I always, always reached for, for snuggle time, was Ezra. So I decided in my mind to make Ezra that sweet, kind, little, gentle boy. You know, he doesn't like, um, you know, he, he, he's not mischievous at all. He looks out for mommy fully. <laughs> And so there he is. He's dressed in him dinosaur best this morning with pizza and french fries and hamburgers and all kinds of fun stuff, right? Mwah. Anyway, um, and so that's pretty much what how I bonded with Ezra. And so um then you know I went through my reweighting phase where I thought that every doll I owned needed to be reweighted, even my toddlers. Now, another thing with my journey that I've come to realize is I don't want my toddlers necessarily weighted. I'm gonna leave Ezra alone, because I like the way he feels. He's real, I don't know, he's got just, just enough little bit of weight to him that, you know, he's just comforting to me. Um, but Macy's like too heavy. <laughs> and Jordan, when we get to Jordan's unboxing, he's too heavy. <laughs> So, with my toddlers, I've discovered that I probably won't be waiting them. I don't necessarily need a doll that feels like a real toddler. I have got grandkids that feel like the real size of toddlers. Because I have got a toddler, and I don't know, is a six-year-old still considered a toddler? No, they're not. They're considered a, a mischievous boy. That's what they're considered when boys turn six. Mischievous, little, ruckus, ramp rambunctious of uh, uh, boys so um i always um imagine some of my boys they do got my grandson's personality you know it kind of helps it's been so long since my son was a little toddler boy that you know sometimes i i forget what it's like to really be around um toddlers and so you know in my mind that's just what I basically I created with Ezra was just a sweet little a dark and where did I do with your brush Ezra here it is found it I'm gonna brush his hair too and so anyway I'll tell you guys a story time about my grandson okay I'm gonna tell you guys a story time this happened just a few weeks ago actually since we're on boys subject and um, creating personalities and stuff for boys so I was watching my grandkids one night and I had took my granddaughter, my baby granddaughter, and had went outside, let her play around the yard a little bit. And while I was coming back in, my grandson was in the bathtub. He always takes baths by himself. I don't know if it's normal. I mean, he's six. He, he knows what to do, you know. In other words, he's not a baby anymore. He doesn't have to be coddled as much. But as I'm coming in the house, you know, I'm like, well, my grandson's still in the bath. So I was fixing to tell him, okay, it's time to get out now, you know. Had school the next day and everything. And I hear this thump in the bathtub. And I'm like, Jackson? Oh my God, Jackson? So my daughter has got like, they got their bathtub area, a door, the sink area, and then another door. And the toilet's in there with the bathtub area. So as I'm coming through this door, my grandson is coming through the other door. Covered in... Okay. Covered in... I... Uh, okay, so I'm the type that um, I pass out when it comes to <laughs> cannot stay on the side of anything icky, blood, whatever. Nanny's all the time asking me, how did I survive my kids? Well, I don't know. I guess I just had to do it. But when I grew up and I didn't have to deal with icky stuff anymore, my mind just really, um, it doesn't do. So I covered in <laughs> So I immediately call my oldest granddaughter, which was in her room, you know, on her phone. And I've got my baby granddaughter. And I told, I, I, I said, help, you know, because I couldn't see where he was coming from at first. So I just get him, poor little guy, you know, was just, was just naked, just panicking. 
So, you know, we get him, we get his underwear on for him because he's just covering blood. I'm trying to stop the bleeding. Finally find out that it was his nose. And so, you know, of course, I'm immediately, you know, get him, get some clothes on the boy so he's not standing there exposed. And me and Sissy and the baby, you know, we're all surrounding him. And I get him more out into some light where I could see him. And, of course, immediately I texted mom, you know, immediately. That was the first, you know, one of the first things I did. Because he was not, like, unconscious. He never went unconscious. He just, as I could tell, he had a bloody nose. Like, he bumped his nose. So, I call mom. You know, mom's like, okay, you know, go ahead and bring him to the hospital. I'll get him signed in. Because my daughter works um, at a hospital. She, uh, here, look, she's a security guard. So, she's already at Children's Hospital, Cancer Unit, stuff like that. And so, she says, I'll get him signed in right now. Head this way. So, I load him all up. And we get in the car. And we go to the children's emergency. And at this time, the bleeding, I had finally got the bleeding to stop. Um, I don't know, his nose looked like it was swelling up to me. but And, it, and I was FaceTiming mom, and she said the same thing. So I'm in a panic. I'm thinking, oh, my God, he just broke his nose. You know, um, I just, I, I, it's just horrifying. So we get in the car, we head to the hospital, and um, he gets checked out. The doctor ends up telling me they're not going to do x-rays on him because at his age, he doesn't have bones in his nose. His nose is literally just cartilage. So even if he did something to the cartilage, it's it's not going to make a difference, I guess, in the long run. They checked to make sure he could breathe, checked his ears, make sure he didn't have no bleeding, his eyes, and he was okay. Perfectly okay. So... You know, by the time we left the hospital, he's bounced around being his normal, rambunctious self. Like, it never even happened. You know, meanwhile, I'm um, traumatized over this. Like, um, now when I watch the kids, none of them is allowed to take a bath. Not a one of them. Not a one of them. <laughs> they can wait a couple hours until mom gets home to take a bath because I'm traumatized by this. And he's running around playing. And so who would have known that at that age... They can get a bloody nose, but it's not... Unless it's, like, really damaging, like they crush their nose... There was nothing we could do. So she says, okay, she, she took him out of school the next day. She said, you know, just be prepared that when he wakes up the next morning, he may have some black eyes and stuff. And I'm like, okay. So, you know, I tell my daughter and he gets home. And so the next day I call my daughter. I'm like, how's Jackson? How is he? Not even a bruise. Not even a bruise on that boy. His eyes was not bruised. Nothing. Like it never even happened. Needless to say, that whole story <laughs> that I told, I figured you guys might might enjoy a little story time, was basically to talk about boys. You know, um, when I started my, my doll journey, I was a total boy mom. Most of my dolls were boys. Now I've come to where I'm a total girl mom, so I don't know. I'm still planning on doing that video of girls versus boys. It's just going to take a lot of effort on my part because the way I want to do it is I want to get all my dolls out, but all the girls on one side, all the boys on another side, and then look at them that way. So, in other words, it would take a lot of effort for me to do this. And I love putting effort in my videos. You guys know that. I, you know, very rarely do I just put out a, a video where I'm not doing something in that video. <laughs> but it would take a lot of effort. Anyway. Long story short, he's okay. He's okay. And well, um, like I said, with most of my um, boys that I have in my collection, um, they are like my grandson. I do uh, put the personalities a lot like him. But Ezra is one that stands out. He's nothing like, he's actually a personality that's nothing like any of my other boys. He's just the sweetest little guy. And so, how was that for just a rambling video. <laughs> uh, uh, at least I threw in some story time. You guys, it's no mystery to you guys that I am not good at chat changes. That's right. I ramble. I get sidetracked. My mind wanders and I start going on to all kinds of stuff that we didn't even start the video with. But at least we stuck along the lines of boys and, and Ezra. <laughs> so, Next week, um, I've already looked ahead and cheated. So my next unboxing that I did after Ezra, which is my third Timu baby, is going to be a Zachary. And yes, I do still have Zachary. Um, 
But we'll talk about Zachary next week. So, if you like this video, then go on down there and give us that big thumbs up. And, well, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And, well, me and all of my cloud kids, even my older cloud kids, oh, him such a sweet boy. See, I can't even get rambunctious with him because he's just very, very sweet. Very delicate little boy, aren't you, sweet boy? Yes. Even my older cloud kids, we really love you guys. So, until the next video, everybody. Bye. Let me tell you about Rebecca's cloud kids. Magical parties, imagine comes to life. Every day is a joy, no need to frown. With Rebecca's cloud kids, we're the talk of the town. Bring the laughter, we bring the fun. Storytell with Manny, she's the number one. Imagination soaring up in the sky. With Rebecca's cloud kids, we're gonna fly. Come on, come on, join the fun and delight. Rebecca's cloud kids are shining so bright. Let's dance, let's sing, let's party all night. With Rebecca's cloud kids, we're the stars in the sky. Rebecca's cloud kids, magical parties, imagine comes to life. Every day is a joy, no need.